I am Anil Kumar and we are actually working on modeling trigonometric functions. Here is another real life situation which we will model with the help of sine or cosine function. The question here is, Carl and Rajan are skipping rope. As the rope rotates, it is observed that its maximum height is 2.75 meters after one second. The first minimum height of 0.25 occurs two seconds after maximum height. State a sine and a cosine equation that describes the situation. Well, you can pause the video, take it as a practice question, solve and check your answer. Here is how I like to do it. So whenever we work on sine functions, the best thing is first just sketch one sine wave, right? So it is it's good to sketch one sine wave and then, then work on it, right? So what are we given here? As the rope rotates, it is observed that its maximum height is 2.75. So height is 2.75. So I'm writing 2.75 is the y value, right? After one second. So x value is 1. So what we have here on this side, we have t. And on the above, height is height in meters. Okay. So that becomes the coordinate point for maximum. The first minimum height of 0.25 occurs 2 seconds after. So after 2 seconds, time will be 3, right? So it is 3. After 2 seconds, this height is 0 0.25. Do you get the sense? So this is an alternate way of working on real life situations and modeling, right? State a sine and a cosine function to describe this situation right so what I will do is let me write down a sine function first so we say height with respect to time is equals to a times sine so general equation I'll write k t is my variable independent variable minus let's say phase shift and uh, plus axis of c so that is my sine function and also I'll write cosine function so I'll say the same thing but this time with cos right so cos of k t minus p. So both equations will be exactly same except for the phase shift part. Okay. And now let us follow the regular steps to solve. So the regular steps are kind of like this. First, write down maximum minimum values. So we have maximum value of 2.75, minimum value of 3.025. I mean, uh, sorry minimum of 0 0.25 so these are values right the height from maximum and minimum you can calculate amplitude and axis that means a and c so a from here is maximum minus minimum divided by 2 that is 2.75 minus 0 0.25 divided by 2 you may use the calculator also in doing these calculations. Let us use it. Okay, no problems. So we have 2.75 minus 0.25 equals to divide by 2. First say equal to then divide by 2, right? 5 over 4. 5 over 4. Now the axis is the average value. So it is maximum plus minimum divide by 2 that is 2.75 plus 0 0.25 divide by 2 right it looks like 1.5 but let's calculate 2.75 plus 0.25 say equal to then divide by 2 okay 3 over 2 okay so we get 3 over 2 as the axis now we have a we have c now let's find k value to find the k value, what should we do? We have to look into the time period, correct? Now, so let us find what is the time period t. Now, we are given separation of maximum and minimum. So, we have half the time period. Do you, do you understand what we are trying to say? So, we have, this is one full cycle. So, that is t for us. Is it okay? Now, this is t over 2. Half the time period between these two, correct? So, so our time period is two times whatever we are given difference, right? So it is two times since difference of these two times, which is three minus one. Do you get? It? So we get a time period of two times two, which is four. So we get time period of four. 
Now those of you who want to write the equation in radians, right? So if you are working in radians, let me write down for both, radians and uh, degrees, okay? So the k value in radians will be 2 pi by the time period, which is 4. As far as the degrees is concerned, it will be 360 degrees divided by 4, correct? Okay? So that is pi by 2 as k value here and 90 degrees will be for 360 degrees divided by 4, right? Half is 180 and half of that, correct? Okay? So that gives you the time period. Now we will look into the third aspect and that is phase shift, right? Now, one part is very critical. We have drawn all this. It is actually time to uh, to kind of sketch our axis also. 0.25 means the horizontal is kind of somewhere here. Is it okay? Slightly below. Now, first maximum is there. This is minimum. And one full cycle, we know this much. So this and this becomes one cycle. Midway between should be somewhere here, correct? So that should be our. So after two seconds, we get one minimum. So the previous minimum was after two seconds. That means after one second, that is should be our zero value, correct? So we actually get a zero value here. Right? So that becomes our axis actually. Okay, so that is how we could actually draw our graph. So if I'm sketching my time here, so this is 0, this is 1, correct? So of course this is 2. And then we have 3 here, right? 4, 5, correct? So between 1 and 5, the time period is 4. It makes sense. So that's our graph, correct? And we know C is 3 by 2. Amplitude is 5 over 4, which you can add and get here, which is 2.75, right? 2, 3 over 4. So 2, 3 over 4, or whatever is written there, right? This is quarter. Minimum is at 1, 4, 0.25, correct? So I just wrote in both options. You can write in decimals or in those things, right? Now, as far as the phase shift is concerned, if you are considering the sine wave, then the phase shift P is zero. Do you see that? Because it starts right from there. But if you are using cosine wave, then the phase shift is how much for you? It is at one, the first maximum you're looking at. So those are the phase shift, right? So for phase shift, you have to always consider the starting point, right? So let me just, just draw both the graphs here to explain you the concept. Sine wave starts rising up from the axis. This is my axis. And as far as the cosine wave is concerned, it is from maximum. So the maximum here starts after one unit of time. Therefore, P is 1. Sine wave starts right there at the x, so P is 0. So we got all the values now. And we are in a position to write equations. So we get H of t equals 2. The amplitude of 5 over 4. Sine. K value is if I'm writing in radians pi over 2 t t is in hours okay phase shift 0 for so so that's just t okay I mean and plus c is 3 by 2 for us correct so 3 by 2 so that is the sine wave or model sine wave in that fashion correct now let me write down the cosine function for the same, which is h of t equals to 5 over 4 cos of, so we can write this in degrees, 90 degrees, right? t minus phase shift of 1, this is in degrees, plus c value of 3 by 2. You get it. So either in degrees or in radians, you can write down your equation as described. I hope this helps you to understand the concepts of modeling the real life situation. Have a good look at it. Subscribe to my videos and learn more. Thank you and all the best.